Let's look at some apps, some cocktail apps to be precise. First, I want to talk briefly about the Speakeasy Cocktails app. It was a very good app for a good little while, um, and it had lots of good content and recipes, but uh, a lot of the links to the, inside the app are broken, links to videos and other types of content that don't live inside the app. And because of this, I guess, uh, it's been removed from the App Store, so I'm not going to talk about it much. Let's just move on. An app that you can actually download for free is this app called Cocktail Flow. Uh, I often see it mentioned whenever somebody asks about uh, good cocktail apps, and there's a lot to like here. There's a lot of colorful information. The illustrations are consistent throughout as far as the style and so forth. And uh, there are some interesting ways of looking at the content itself, be it inside a recipe, looking at different ingredients, or looking across recipes, trying to make a selection of what you want to drink. Uh, there are all these ways of arranging by cocktail type or color or strength or whatever. And uh, it's just overall an attractive app. Uh, but my problem with it is that it's sort of focused more towards tropical daiquiri type drinks and not towards classic cocktails so it doesn't get top marks for me up next is something a little different uh, it's less about uh, maintaining classic cocktails and more about discovering new things it's this app by on the bar called uh, swizzle and uh, it's basically tinder for cocktails uh, different uh, cocktail makers submit their posts onto here and you can either like it and thereby save the cocktail or dislike it and just ignore it. Um, so it's just a flat list that you scroll through and uh, it gets updated often and uh, you could look at different cocktails and then look at what you've saved and shared and so forth. Up next is a simple curated app that I like a lot called Shaker. This is an app that uh, has a short list of cocktails and is very cleanly laid out uh, and it has some basic features to uh, mark cocktails that you want to save to a list and also has this feature where you can convert your measurements to different units. And that's a handy built-in feature that some apps overlook, although most tend to think about it. But I just like the simplicity of design and cleanness of the app. There's not much getting in the way of your cocktails, which is good. There's also this shop, which I guess has affiliate links to Amazon for the app developer. So they get something on the back end of it, uh, which is fine. But uh, it's just a little weird inclusion, I think. Um, but overall, it's just a good, simple little app. But what I wanted to show off next isn't really a cocktails app at all. It's an app about uh, spirits themselves. And it's basically an app like Untapped uh, that exists for beer, if you're familiar with that. So you can look at sort of expert ratings as well as user ratings and look at all these breakdowns about spirits, uh, which is um, sort of a unique feature that I think is pretty cool. And you can keep notes about your spirits and so forth and get recommendations if you have something specific or a flavor profile in mind. And so I think it can be a helpful tool if you're looking to actually make cocktails, make up your own from scratch, particularly if you aren't uh, fully aware of all the differences between different types of gins and bourbons and so forth yourself. But let's get back to some proper cocktail apps with an app called Cocktails. Uh, it's kind of an unfortunate name, actually, because it's really a generic name, and so it's kind of hard to find uh, this app. But if you just search Become a Real Bartender, which is the subtitle of the app, you can find it pretty easily that way. This has a lot of features uh, that are in common with Cocktail Flow as far as finding cocktails and stuff like that. Uh, so it's sort of a full-featured cocktail app and has lots of abilities. And uh, has this uh, surprise cocktail situation, which is cool, as well as a reverse lookup, which allows you to look up ingredients, start with ingredients, and then find what you can uh, make with that uh, set of ingredients. And so that's a really useful feature that I like and was one of the first things that I liked about this app. Um, but one of the major problems that I have with it is that it's free to download, uh, but... Uh, it has ads, and the ads are very intrusive video ads, and the only way to get rid of them is to pay the $5 in-app purchase. So if you're not thinking of spending that $5, then I can't really recommend this app because the ads are just terrible. 
but otherwise it's a pretty solid full-featured cocktail app. And up next, I've got an app that I've liked for about a year or so. It's called Bar Notes. And here, this is all about the user-generated content, except that content is actually pretty good. Lots and lots of people that submit to this uh, app have lots of good cocktails to share, and so there's a lot of good stuff going on here. And you can save or like or comment or share any of these uh, cocktails, and uh, so you can start building up your own list of unique cocktails, and I've got a lot of good stuff uh, saved in here. But the major quirk to the app that I don't like is that uh, this list of mine called My Bar uh, while it does seem to save all of my recipes that I do want to save, uh, it has problems in how it behaves. So it'll crash sometimes, and uh, other times we'll just sort of refresh the list at the top. So you always are clicking show more, show more to get down to the cocktails that you've saved if you aren't looking in the first randomly selected group of cocktails. But other than that, I actually do use this uh, app quite a bit. Next, we'll have a look at this app, Highball, which is probably my favorite app. Uh, it's so simple and so attractive. You can reveal the app in your unit of choice, and also it has this handy feature of multiplying your recipe, uh, which I don't know of any cocktail app that does that. And you can add uh, from a list of uh, classic cocktails, uh, but the main deal is that you have your list of cocktails. It's not just a big group. Uh, it's your group. You have your cards and you can move them around and uh, so you can keep all your staples right at hand and I really like that a lot. But if the curated recipes aren't enough for you and you want to make up your own recipe or draw from one that you already have, uh, you ha can use the UI of the app itself to make your own card. And so you can use all these ingredients and make it uh, just as attractive as though it's one of the built-in recipes. And uh, that feature and how attractive it looks, and then you have all these cards, it just looks fantastic. It's also a free app, um, but if you want to give money to the developer, you can just uh, give them any amount you choose right here. So I think that's a really cool, cool feature, a way of monetizing. I think it's a really classy uh, system. And finally, this app that I wanted to include because it just looks really good. It's called Lush Cocktails, and... Uh, I think the major deal with this for me, uh, apart from just overall clean design, is that you can look inside the glass and it has an added glance view of your proportions for your various ingredients. And that just looks really nice. And as you can see, when I twist and turn, the uh, fluid inside the glass is actually animated and moves around. And this has a sort of card system of its own, which is a good way of flipping through cocktails in the various lists that they have. I think this app has my favorite reverse search uh, cocktail finder by searching by ingredient. Uh, you start with one ingredient and then add another one. And then you can see what cocktails have all those. And if there's more than one, then you can flick through the different cocktails that have those various ingredients. And so you can see... Uh, what you want to drink and what you're prepared to make. And it has these short lists, which are a bit more of a curated view of different uh, sort of subcategories of cocktails, be it classics or whatever. And I find that's a useful way of compressing down the breadth of uh, content that's in this app. You can also have your list of favorites uh, and search by flavors if you have a particular flavor in mind and you want to aim for that with a given cocktail. Uh, this gives you a list of all that kind of stuff and also gives you an idea of the breadth of what's going on with your different flavor profiles. But while I like this app a lot, my two big problems with it are that you can't add your own content to it and also I don't like this white screen. I wish there was a dark mode. Other than that, it's a really great app, and I'm glad to keep it in my list of apps. But finally, I would be remiss, I think, if I did not mention one app that gets talked about a lot uh, when talking about cocktail apps, and that's the PDT Cocktails app. Uh, without going into much detail about uh, what this app is about, uh, 
The gist of it is that it is a curated list of good cocktails that looks good. I chose not to buy it myself because I just have other apps that I think really suit my needs and uh, fulfill the content that I'm looking for better than I think this will. That said, I do think it's worth considering just based on the reputation that it has in circles that know what they're talking about. But that's my list. Uh, if you think I'm wrong or I fucked up somehow, then just tell me in the comments and I'll be sure to look at that straight away. <laughs> but sincerely, thanks for watching.